OK Google, take a selfie. Matt, what the hell are you doing with a selfie stick? That's probably the question right now you're asking yourself. Well, answer is easy, I'm taking selfies. And why am I taking selfies? Because I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how to send them to a correct computer. And by correct computer, I mean the one you are currently working on. So, uh, shall we try it? I'm starting with a laptop. Get the last picture. And if everything went all right and Google was able to recognize my weird accent, we should see the picture in a second. Something's coming. And indeed, it's my beautiful selfie with you guys. Do you like it? I love it. But why? Why are you doing this, Matt? You've got Google Photos. Well, it's true. We have Google Photos and you can access these pictures on any computer. That's, you know, fantastic and stuff. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because you can do pictures, screenshots, notifications, text messages, files, anything you want really, so it's up to you. How does it work? Uh, well, it uses even Ghost to switch between the computers and, uh, well, let the tasker know which computer is active right now. So uh, let's change the computer and send ourselves uh, screenshots. I was doing a weather update recently, so I've updated the tutorial. If you want to look what I did, I'm going to share it somewhere here and let's get that screenshot that I have uploaded there. Get the last screenshot. And in a second you should see that screenshot being loaded. Oh, it was even quicker than the last time. And the screenshot's here, so everything's working. Now let's get to the tutorial part when I s where I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready? Let's start. Even Ghost responds to system idle and system unidle and messages available through Event Ghost feed, so we can use them as a trigger. Then what it does, it actually disables that trigger straight away, uh, so we wouldn't spam auto remote messages. So one that's, once that's done, then it issued two different auto remote messages, one to the telephone and one to another computer to enable listening for those uh, system unidle triggers. The same is replicated for system restarts or coming out from sleep. Uh, it waits 10 seconds and issues the same uh, notifications so you can just copy and paste it. Now lastly it will issue the notification to another computer um, with the message monitor enabled and that will enable the trigger on another computer. So another computer will be ready um, to basically listen for those system and idle messages and uh, switch back uh, to a different computer whenever this is activated. There are some limitations as the system goes to idle after 60 seconds. So if you change the computer within that 60 seconds twice, you will be out of sync. This is probably very unlikely to happen. However, if you want to, you can just disable uh, disabling the trigger and then spam out auto remote messages to make sure the updates come uh, more often. As for tasker side of things, it couldn't be much easier. We're using auto remote event to capture the message starting with active PC and whatever is after the equal sign is going to be our name, which is the same name as you would uh, pick up from join uh, app. That name is available in arcom local variable from the event and we're going to use it to set active PC global variable. And that's pretty much all. I'll show you how I retrieve the screenshot and pictures in my next tutorial. So, you know, subscribe, follow me and I'll let you know when it's uh, ready. I'm currently working on it. And if you want some more information about this tutorial and how to set it up, uh, there is also a written guide somewhere here on the screen, so just do click on it. As usual, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you know how to find me and how to keep up to date. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! So we're gonna go here, same command, get the last picture. Not guess the last picture, come on. Get the last picture. Get the last fixture. Uh, why?